talking a lot about, you know, you being from the band that you were in, Guster, Joe, and me coming out of the band that I used to be in and just a lot of those parallels and sort of what my frustration was in that moment, which was just a lot of fear around, you know, not living up to my former career and also just becoming forgotten. And I remember KS, you started throwing out these amazing lines and I just remember it being a pretty fast write that day. And I think you sort of took that sound bite of what I was saying about being forgotten and then we drew the comparison to the the whole idea of being this dark star. You know, I'm I'm not sure how it became dark star, but I think it's one of those things where like um, you're just throwing words around and something finally comes out um, and it just seems right. It seems like it's the title of the song. And I, I think that just was a stream of consciousness one of us did. And it was like, that's what this song's about. We were just, I think we were bouncing around ideas and kind of just having a conversation and turning it into song. I mean, you know. And then also, I just, I think, you know, that day we were feeling the vibes. We probably were like feeling the Fleetwood Mackie vibes and just wanting to like truck along on a song and feel good. And and Joe Joe's always into that, man. Joe wants to move along and play those once, those five minors. One of the references too was Neil Young's Harvest Moon, which was, mm. I was listening to a lot. Um, and, and wanting a song that kind of captured a little bit of that mood. And, and I think you both did an amazing job at that. And Joe, you've got a beautiful studio here on the East side and it just creates so much room for inspiration. And the two of you can both play just about every single instrument there is. It, everybody kind of KS and I being multi-instrumentalists and kind of just chipping away at like the building blocks. That was really fun too, I remember. Yeah, we got such a beautiful demo that day and uh, one that I feel like Davis and I really tried to honor when we went to record it for the album. And I think just the the initial footprint of what that song was, I mean, it's, it doesn't even feel right saying that it was just a footprint just because it was so sussed out. That demo really inspired what it became on, on the album and just so many cool parts that you guys came up with that you definitely deserve credit for. Like, especially in the beginning with that riff, the da -na 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 -na. I don't remember who that was, if that was you, Joe, or if that was KS. That sounds kind of Joey to me. Huh? What that sounds kind of Joey to me. Here's what I remember. I played some bullshit in there <laughs> and you're like, hold on. Take all this bullshit out and put bow down down. <laughs> you know what that does sound, Joey. You probably went bow bow. I was like, dow, 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 dow. I probably put in six too many notes, and you were like, take those six out. And now you got a riff, my friend. I'll say this too. I I, I don't think I'd ever worked with um worked with you before, Rachel, or maybe met you once or twice. And you started singing, and I was just like, oh, this is gonna be cool because you have such a good, uh, sincere and easy voice and you don't manipulate it like a lot of people do these days. It's just real honest voice, which is really cool. So it's so much easier to write with someone when they're just kind of a real singer. When you talk about like a collaboration, it felt like such a true collaboration with you guys. And, um, you know, you took what was something I was feeling in that moment and created something really beautiful um, with me. and and. Again, it's just one of those songs that people, I think, are really drawn to. Um, and the fact that it is such an honest song and um, the line that I think a lot of people go back to a lot is also the, um, I get afraid I'll be remembered not for the fire, but the embers. And um, that's probably the most honest line on the entire record, you know? Um, Wait, did we write that or was that, is that Bob Dylan? Is that us? <laughs> <laughs> KS, I feel like maybe that might have been that might have been your genius coming in, but um, you know, it it just um, it's one of the songs that I feel proudest of on this record. I felt like the reason why it was such a great second single um, was because I, I just didn't want to gloss over 
what my reality was or what my experience was. It, w it was better to address all of those things for me, I think, through song than through any word that I could put out there, um, spoken or written or whatever. Um, you were vulnerable about how you were feeling, and uh, it's you know a very real feeling that I'm sure we all feel all the time. It makes me feel like the song, in a way that sometimes when you have a good conversation with your partner or whoever, a good friend, they might repeat something back to you, and it gives your thoughts validity. You know what makes me feel good hearing from you, Rachel, is that as a team we were able to validate your feelings, attitudes, and thoughts about the subject, which are important, and, and what you were going through at the time, what you were experiencing. And so, you know, I think from ever, whenever I read stuff about famous songwriters and stuff growing up, they were always like trying to say, just got it. If you could just hit the mark, you know, hit the mark. And I don't think that hitting the mark means you get a hit song, but if you, if you can consolidate those feelings, that's... I think that's a, a light, like a celebra celebrated success. So it makes me feel good that, mm -hmm. that it makes that you feel comfortable embodying that. You know, it's so easy to kind of write a song about what you're feeling and then just have it be that, but to turn it into something that feels positive and has some resolve to it. Um, I think that's what I love so much about this song. I just want to say uh, how much, and this is no bull, how much I really respect you guys and what you do and am just so grateful to have this song on the record and honestly it's one of the standouts I think not just for me but for a lot of people and and so many people mention how much they love this song. I am a star.